Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how I have created this construction dashboard in Microsoft Power BI. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of the construction dashboard. On the top, we have given the various slicers to filter the data like you can select any department from here. Accordingly, the whole dashboard will be filtered or you can select the name of the contractor or you can search it as you want and then you can select okay and if you want to see the within budget over budget you can select that also and some other slicers also then we are showing some card like number of project total budget total cost cost per project this is the average cost per project and the safety incident here we are showing the number of project by region number of project by status and here we have the number of project by the phase number of project by the month and cost per project by project type so this is what we have displayed in the overview page on the left hand side we have given a navigation pen so you can go to the budget and cost budget versus cost just click here so it will take you to the another page which is the budget versus cost so here we are showing the budget and cost by the department by project type by region and this is by top saving contractor Again, you can use the slicers as you want. Then the next is the contractor and the department analysis. And here we are showing the number of project by the top seven contractor, number of project by the department, safety incident by the top seven contractor. And here in the table, we have displayed some other information also. You can just put this in the focus mode if you want to see more information. As well as you can download this in the excel just click on the export data it can be downloaded in the excel now let's go to the next page that is the safety and risk analysis here in the safety and risk analysis we are showing the safety incident by the department safety incident by the region safety incident by the phase and safety incident by the project type next one is the monthly trend here on the monthly trend you can see the number of project by the month and the budget versus actual cost by the month and this is the safety incident by the month for any chart you can just put it on the focus mode if you want to see in detail and uh, you can just click on the decomposition views to see the decomposition tree of the data so we are showing here number of project and then here the some other information you can just click to see the other information as per your requirement all right okay now let's go back to the overview page and we can see again the overview so this is totally dynamic dashboard you can just connect with your excel file this is from i have opened it from the power bi services now i will show you the power bi desktop application also and the data also so let me close this from here and this one this is the construction dashboard in Power BI and this is the you can see the Power BI desktop application file and we have all pages here which we have designed and we will show you the data also data is in the Excel this is the data we have the project ID project name project type phase region status department contractor start date estimated end date budget cost and then we have the safety incident and here we have put the formula for the budget status over budget within budget you can put this in the power query also if you want but we have put in the excel itself now we will show you the data first here we have loaded this data to the power bi desktop application file you can load this from the home get data and just click on excel then you can select that file we have here these all information we just have seen in the excel then we have created a calendar table for the calendar table we just have put this dax code wherein we are taking the start date and date as a variable minimum of the start date and maximum of the start date that will be the range of our calendar then we have used the calendar function start date and date here okay then we have used the add columns also to add the more columns like year month month name quarter week and week number okay we have created another uh, table that is the uh, major calculations and here we have added our major like number of project we are using the count rows budget the simple sum of budget cost is the sum of cost and here uh, cost per project is the divide function and total cost divided by number of project then safety incident sum of safety incident okay 
the simple measures we have used then to create this type of design in the power bi we have taken the help of powerpoint in the powerpoint we have designed this using the various rectangles and using the different colors then we have downloaded this in this as a picture here you can see bg1 is a picture okay then for the next one the other designs also right once we downloaded this then you can just right click on the page go to the format canvas and here you can just upload that image if you delete this and you use the new one like let's say i'm adding a new page and here i can simply click on the browse then i can just select that image okay so that will appear here once the background image is there then you can start creating the slicers you can create the navigation pen to create the navigation pen you can simply just insert and button and here you can just take the navigate page navigator so this will show all the pages which is available in your power bi desktop application file okay and you can just change the view from the style and here we have the default is you can see we have taken the font white background fill is white you can take some other color let's say i'm taking this color then that color will be filled you can just change the orientation also for this so you can just go to the grid layout and that orientation is the horizontal let's take it vertical and just change this to the vertical view okay or you can take in the grid view also mm -hmm. and uh, let's say i'm taking two rows then it will take the two rows and uh, let me take here two rows and three column or two rows something like that then it will create it will be created like this okay we have created here in this way this is coming from the background but this is what we have created to create this type of page navigator you can just change the style first take it uh, vertical only not the grid okay so we are taking it vertical then let me add here this bg1 then i will show you properly so what we can do just click on browse and just select that image bg1 okay so that is filled from the image fit just select here fit and that is 100 percent transparent so just make this zero percent so you can see in the back end we have that blank background now we can create like this we have created here the similar one so to create that what you can do first change the shape so shape we have taken here rounded rectangle or you can take this pill also if you want or you can take rounded rectangle this one then let's go to the style the default style we can take font as white and fill just take here no fill or you can take any fill then make it 100 percent transparent and also just make it slightly smaller and take this right now just select here selected and for the selected you can choose any color like here we have taken this color light sky blue color and just click here and then you can take a sky blue color a font take black color for the selected one and uh, color just take here kind of sky blue so i'm just taking it from here let's say this type of color okay the fill color and just make it zero percent transparent so we are at page one then you can see it is highlighting page one okay if you click here then it will take you to the previous page so similarly we have created that uh, page navigator you can make this a smaller like this and uh, if you want to change the border and the other thing you can do that like for the default style and just remove the border from here just border is off and we can see this is looking similar to this one okay so that is how we have created this page navigator then we have created the slicers and the other things like you can simply insert these slicers from the insert or you can take from the build also let's take this type of slicer this one then you can just insert the slicer let's say for from the calendar also you can take for the year and month name let's say i'm taking month name then that is created and from here you can just go to the format and uh, slicer setting and in place of vertical list just make it drop down so that is how we have created then we have done some other formatting also and then we have created some other charts also like we have created these cards or these charts you can simply create the cards 
using the card like uh, we have here this card you can take this new card or you can take this normal card also put the card here and from the measures calculation this just drag the this uh, measure calculation here and just put this in this way then you can further format this like you can change the font size and other things from the format and uh, from the size and style you can just off the background first thing okay then you can just uh, change the call out value let's take here 25 okay and uh, you can just make this bold and black and here call out level you just take it make it black and bold something like that we have done here then we have created the other charts also like here we have created this chart so to create the chart you can simply just take let's say i'm taking here this chart and i'm just placing this chart over this and let's say x-axis i'm just taking the region so you can search it from here also like region and region wise i'm just showing the number of project so we are showing here number of project region wise let's take that number of project again okay then you can change the color of the columns from here column color you can choose the theme color or you can choose let's say this color or any other color whichever you want and if you want to remove the background you can just simply go to the size and style and just drop the background so it will be in proper theme all right friends so that is how we have created this dashboard in microsoft power bi friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for the watching.